Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate, formerly Adobe Flash, tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom paintbrush. I'm going to create a very simple paintbrush, but for all you artist types out there that love to create brushes and stuff like that, illustrators, this is the technique to do it. So let's get started. I've got a basic document here opened up with nothing on it, just a blank layer. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer, and for the hell of it, and I'm going to call it Custom Brush. Why not? All right. Good enough. Now, the next step is I'm going to go over here to the left side onto my toolbar, and I'm going to use the Fluid Brush Tool. But do note, you can use the other brushes. I have the Classic Brush Tool and the Paint Brush Tool as well. If you don't see any of those brushes, just go to these three dots down here, Edit Toolbar, and make sure to select them to add them. So you would just left click on them right there and they will add to the toolbar. Okay, good. All right, let's go. I'm gonna use this brush here and you're gonna notice here that I've got a size of 52 and a bunch of other stuff, no big deal. Let's just go ahead and create a brush. I'm gonna create an arrow brush because there's something else I wanna show you. So there we go, I've got an arrow. I've got basically a line down and then I'm gonna create a arrowhead on it. So instead of using red, I'm going to create the arrowhead. I'm going to go over here to my fill color and I'm going to select some sort of purple for the arrowhead. And again, this is not very good. It's just me showing you the technique. So there we go. We've drawn a line and then I'm just going to draw something like this. And I'm not even using any sort of mouse or, pardon me, any sort of trackpad or any of that crap or any fancy stuff. This is just me monkeying it on my on my Mac here. Okay, good. So we've got this. And now what I want to do is I want to make this into an art brush so I can paint arrows like this as I see fit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have the selection tool selected. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select everything here, making sure I've got all of this into my selection. And then I'm going to right click on it. And now you're going to see an option down here that says create paintbrush. All right, you're with me. What you're going to see here is you're going to see a couple of different types of brush. There are art brushes and pattern brushes. We're going to make this an art brush. And here's where we're going to make some differences. It's going to see here that it says scale proportionately, stretch, stretch to fit stroke length, and stretch between guides. What we want to do is stretch between guides. So I'm going to left click on this one. It still looks kind of funny. And what you want to do next is you actually want to go ahead and adjust from this left to right, click on that. We're going to go from top to bottom, which is the way we drew this. And now you're going to see that the arrow right here is pointing this way. The next step is I want the brush head, or I want the arrowhead, pardon me, to remain proportional. So I just moved this guide. Now this isn't required for all brush strokes. There's a chance that you just want dashed lines or funny colors and and you don't need to do this, but if you're drawing something like a shape like this that has like a base here, like a stem, and then an arrowhead, for example, I'm going to restrict the guide so that this part is proportional. So you'll see what I mean in a second here. And now I'm just going to left click on add. And now when I go to my brushes and I'm going to go to my paintbrush tool, you're going to see over here that I've selected this. And this now is a stroke style. So we have created this brush out of nothing, and now I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to change my stroke size to 100, just to show you what I'm talking, to 101, whatever, and I'm just going to draw down and let go. And presto, we've got the arrow that we drew here. We've got it here sort of proportional. Now, if I was to make this, say, 200, and I drew it here, very similar to what we have here. This, this middle one that we drew was about... 300. But what we've done is we've created our own basic brush here in seconds, guys. That's how you do it. This is how you reuse brushes inside Adobe Animate. It makes your life easier. makes things faster. I have a ton more tutorials coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.